Okay, thank you everybody for being on this call. Uh, like I said before, my name is Dr. Jav, and again, welcome on this beautiful bank holiday Monday. Um, it's now just after six o'clock, and I applaud every single one of you for being on this call. If you can see me and hear me again, please drop me a 111 in the chat box, and then I will continue. Okay, thank you. So today I want to share, um, well, we want to share our secrets of success with you. And again, success is not something that occurs overnight. You need to do certain things every single day to achieve a certain amount of success. Now, I want to start off with a, with a story that I heard quite a while back. And this sort of puts things into perspective. And if you can understand what I talk about in this story, it'll, it'll really help you move forward, certainly um, in this business or any other business, or in fact, in your personal life as well. Now, I'll start off with a, with a young guy, a student, and he wanted to become very, very successful. He wanted to be financially free. So he walks up to his mentor, a wise old man, and he says to, you, to, to his mentor, oh mentor, how do I become successful? How do I become financially free? And the mentor says to him, why don't you meet me tomorrow at the beach at four o'clock in the morning? And the, this young lad thought, you know, why am I going to the beach? I mean, I can swim, I don't need to learn to swim. So he goes to his mentor again, oh mentor, how do I become successful? How do I become financially free? And the wise old man said to him, I will meet you at the beach tomorrow at 4 a.m. and everything will become clear. Anyway, 4 a.m. the next day, the, the young lad's there, the student, the mentor's there as well, and they're standing by the, by the water, and the mentor says to him, let's walk into the water. So they wade into the water until the water's around waist high. And again, the student says to the mentor, you know, I can swim, I don't need to learn to swim, why are we doing this? Now, at that point, the mentor grabs the, the young lad's head and dunks it in the water, and he keeps him there. And... He keeps him there for just enough time so that the, the, the student does not pass out. Anyway, he then pulls his head out of the water and the student's like, you know, why did you do that? I mean, you know, I almost drowned. Why did you put me in the water like that? And the wise man says to the, to the student, when you were underwater, what did you want to do the most? And the boy said, well, I wanted to breathe. So again, the wise man says to him, you know, again, what did you want to do? He goes, I wanted to breathe. And the wise man says to the student, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, you'll be successful. So the next level up from breathing is success. When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, you'll be successful. That's how important success should be to you and for you. Now, we've discussed why, you know, many, many times on, on, on other trainings, and you need to have your why in front of you. Your why needs to make you cry and being successful has to be as important as wanting to breathe now that's a very very important concept and you need to sit down and try and understand what i'm talking about you need to do whatever it takes to get whatever you want do whatever it takes to get whatever you want and focus focus on where you're headed to become successful you should all know your goals by now when you know your goals you need to walk, if not run towards your goals every single day. And you need to be focused <coughs> on your goal every single day. You need to do something towards your goal on a daily basis. Now, when I walk around my house, I have my goals plastered all over the place. And, you know, sometimes it's human nature to forget where you're headed. But your goal, your, your ideal, where you're headed needs to be key in your mind every single second of the day for you to achieve that goal and when i'm talking about goals every single person on this call looking at you know who's on this call at the moment we all have you know the same goals to be financially free to be hugely successful and success is as important as wanting to breathe now personal development is one of the key factors to success it's more important even than the than, than the skill set behind it if you're personally developed you can achieve a huge amount of success and closely allied to personal development is you know what are you doing every day what are you reading every day now leaders are readers i'll say that again all leaders are readers including myself including the other mentors on this call we all read every single day and it's the act of being persistent 
and consistent that will push you forward. Now, reading elevates us above our current situation and it allows you to vibrate at, the, at a higher frequency than you should naturally be at. Now, when you vibrate at a higher frequency, it will help you to achieve your goals. I want to just go through, um, you know, I get a lot of questions all the time on, on WhatsApp, through email, you know, how do I become successful? What do I need to do? And I talk about persistence and consistency every single time. And it's the small things that you do every day that will help you to absolutely smash your goals. Now, <coughs> today on this call, I want to share with you just some of my, my library. I want to show you some of the books that I've been reading. And my recommendation for every single person on this call is to take notes and make a note of these books and also to get these books, read these books and take action. Now, a lot of these books that I'm gonna show you now are books that I've read over and over again. And if I start off, I think it was about two decades ago, one of the first books that I read was actually Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And if you can see that, just drop me a, a 333 in the chat box. This book I actually bought absolutely years ago and you can see all these, these post-it notes. Yep, these are all the notes that I took. Now, I bought this book after resigning from my first job because I absolutely hated it. Now, I was obviously I've been at university for a very, very long time and I, I was the ideal corporate bod. So I'd been trained to be a slave to the system through schooling, through university. And every single day I was trained to be a corporate slave and my first job was exactly that, I was a corporate slave and I absolutely hated it, <coughs> excuse me. And getting back to that first job, I resigned from that post and decided that I needed a break. I, I bought a ticket to Australia and at the airport, I was browsing through the, the book section as you do. And I found this book. This is the exact book that I bought at the airport all those years ago. And I still have it today and I've read it more than once. And this book actually taught me about, this book taught me about things that are different to working in the system. This book taught me that there's another way. This book taught me about business. I didn't have a clue about business. Now I've got an MBA, I've been to business school and even going through an MBA, I, knew, you know, I know all about the models, the strategies and what I have, you know, whatever else have you. However, when it comes to practicalities, when it comes to actually running a business, it's totally different. And this is my first introduction to business. And, and I will actually say it changed my life because I read that book on the way to Australia. I finished the whole book whilst I was in the airplane and it was an absolutely amazing thing. And when I got back to the UK, I, I didn't want to get back by the way, um, because Australia obviously is a very beautiful, warm climate. I really enjoyed it. When I got back, I decided that I was not going to be a corporate slave anymore. So <clears throat> that was actually one of my first books, if not the first book that introduced me to a life of business and entrepreneurship. So does anybody want to guess what my second book was? I'll just wait a few seconds. So as soon as I'd read that book, I went into my local bookstore and bought this book here. So this is like the history of Jab. <laughs> this is my history. I bought the cash flow quadrant. So again, this is Rich Dad's Guide to Financial Freedom. It's a, it's a thicker book than this book. Sorry, than, than the Rich Dad Poor Dad. But again, this was my, my second book, The Cash Flow Quadrant. Rich Dad Poor Dad, yeah, Cash Flow Quadrant. And we talk about that in, in, in our guest presentations, you know, being an employee, a business owner versus being self-employed or et cetera, et cetera, or an investor. So again, 5% of the world population have more wealth than 95% of the remainder of the population. And this concept was again, alien to me until I'd read Rich Dad Poor Dad and the Cash Flow, cash flow Quadrant. <coughs> so staying on the Rich Dad Poor Dad theme, I was now a, an avid fan of uh, Robert Kiyosaki. So what do you think I did? Went back to the bookstore and bought my next book, The Guide to Investing, What the Rich Invest in That the Poor and Middle Class Do Not. Now, in my opinion, the first book is probably the best book. And these other books are again extensions of the first book and they go into more detail on a lot of things and this is quite a big book but again leaders are readers and this is when i started obviously I, I used to read before as well in academia and you know whilst i was doing my phd and also my master's a lot of reading involved but it was a different kind of reading and this 
again, was a very, very good introduction to business. And my recommendation is that if you have not read these books, read them. I do have other Robert Kiyosaki books as well in my library, but these three were some of the first three books that I actually read, starting off with Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Anyway, let's continue. A few more books that I, I've pulled out of my library today. Now, again, this is just a small sample of the books that I have in my library. And I wanted to go over these so that you could actually see and you know how I started and what I did when I first was introduced to a life of business. The One Minute Millionaire, absolutely amazing book. And again, this is by Mark Victor Henson. And again, a book that I would recommend to every single person on this call. Again, this book, it's a very, very easy read. And I, I love this book. The Millionaire Mind is another one of my books by Thomas Stanley. So again, make a note of this book and get yourself this book. Now, I don't know if you noticed this, but <clears throat> the books that I'm actually going through at the moment, most of them are about mindset and the way you think and how you behave. The Richest ba Man in, Bob in Babylon, it's a small book. In fact, it's, it's a tiny book. So if I, compare that to, if I compare this book to Rich Dad's Guide to Investing, you can see you know, how, how small this book is. So it's a tiny book. And again, it's a very, very powerful book. And it's the Bible of financial freedom. The book is only 144 pages, but they're very, very small pages. So <coughs> you can actually read this book in, in, in one day or a couple of days. Again, an amazing book. I've read this book several times. And if you have not got this book by George Classen, The Richest Man in Babylon, I would recommend you get this book. Again, as I go through my library, Think and Grow Rich, as you can see, I've got post-it notes in there as well. I read this book, you know, a long, long time ago, and this is by Napoleon Hill. And again, this is a timeless classic. Bob Proctor talks about this book whenever he's, he's presenting, and this is the same, well, not the same book, but this is the book that Bob Proctor reads every single day. Obviously, he doesn't read the whole book every day, but he reads from this book every single day, and that's why this book is so, so important. If you don't have this book, go out and get it today. Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich. <coughs> How to Win Friends and Influence People. Now, this book is really good, um, especially in our business, because we're a business of people. And if people like you, people will want to do business with you. And this book, again, I read it over a decade ago, and I think I've read it more than once. And as you can see, I've got post-it notes all over the place um, in various sections of the book. And again, it's, it's, it's a really good read. How to win friends and influence people. This can make a huge impact on your business life. And every single person on this call is building the business. Every single person on this call is a business person. So you need to read this book and try and understand other people. Because when you understand other people and how they operate and become more emotionally intelligent, the more they will want to do business with you and the quicker your business will grow. So a highly recommended book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. Blink. Now again, this um, <coughs> is a book about mindset. So the thinking process is so, so important. And this book is by Malcolm Gladwell, Blink. So again, please do take notes because I'm not going to be going, going through this again. Blink is another book I bought um, a long time ago. In fact, looking at the back, I actually bought this book in the USA. And again, it was an airport read and I read it on the plane coming back from the USA. Just a few more books left. The Person of Influence. Again, um, another book that I, I read a couple of times. Again, a very, very easy read. So again, something I recommend every single person. The, if you can become a key person of influence in your business, what you'll find is that you are not selling to people. People are going to be moving towards you, which is how you want to do it. In my case, I do not sell to people. People come to me a lot of the time through social media. People will come to me and, and ask me, you know, what do I do in my business and how they can get involved in that business as well. And the key person of influence shows you how to do that. And again, a very, very good book, a very easy read. A lot of these books you can actually read in one day. I mean, they're not very, very big books, so, but they're very powerful. So you need to read these books more than once. The New Psycho-Cybernetics, again, an amazing book. And again, these books 
are mostly about the thought process, what you are thinking, and how you're going to achieve your, your goal. Another great book, The 4-Hour Workweek by, by Timothy Ferris. And again, this is the laptop lifestyle. This is the mobile phone lifestyle that we're living at the moment. We don't need to work 40, 50, 60 hours a week. We can work four or five hours a week from anywhere in the world. And the four hour work week, again, <clears throat> very apt to our business because we can work our business from anywhere in the world. Um, it's an amazing book. Again, a very, very easy read. Um, you might not be able to read this book in one day, but as you can see, I've got post-it notes in there as well. So another book that I've read um, a couple of times and a very, very good recommendation for you guys. So just a couple more books left. And um, just <laughs> in case you haven't got these, As a Man Thinketh, again, James Allen. This is not a big book, but this can change your life. As a Man Thinketh. Again, I highly recommend you write this book down and get yourself a copy of this book. And what you'll find is that these books will change your life. Eric Worre, GoPro. Now this is, you know, out of all those books, this is the, the only or one of two books on skill set. So most of the books that I've been reading are to personally develop you, to ensure that you have the correct mindset for success, which is what people miss. A lot of people go straight into the skill set and they, you know, don't make it or, or, or give up. But if you get your mind in the right place, if you're going in the right direction towards your goal, you'll make it. GoPro by Eric Worre, Seven Steps to Becoming a Network Marketing Professional. Again, a highly recommended read. This book is absolutely amazing. Amazing. Like, follow, engage. Seven digital marketing strategies that your business must use today. And if you look at the author, it's actually one of my books. So <laughs> I highly recommend you get this book. Uh, again, a very, very easy read. And this book actually teaches you and shows you how to use social media to absolutely smash your business and it's not just applicable to this business but to any business <coughs> today we are in an era of e-commerce we are actually um, using social media more than we've ever used before and my recommendation is that you should be using social media every single day be consistent and persistent and do a little bit every single day and you absolutely smash it. You only need 20 or 30 messages a day and what you'll find is that the results will be amazing. I know people in this business that have hit multiple six figures, if not seven figures, just by using social media and I recommend this book to every single person on this call. Get it and start using social media to smash your business. Very, very, this is actually a pamphlet, it's not even a book, it works. It's just eight pages, <laughs> so no excuse. You might even be able to get some of these as, as, as ebooks. It works by R.H. Jarrett. Very, very small book. Now, the last thing I want to show you is, <laughs> is my box here. So I've got a box, and it, it, it's, it's actually a box set. So I'll, I'll open it. So this is the master key system, okay? I'm just gonna pull it out in a second. Is there a master key? So this, again, I bought it a while back. This is a box set of one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a box set of two, four, six, seven books. And it's called the master key system. Now this is absolutely amazing. And again, highly recommended. Um, if you can't get this box set, I did look online today and this box set is about three grand. So <clears throat> probably wouldn't recommend you all spend £3,000 on a box set. However, what you can do is get a paperback version and not the original um, leather bound um, edition that I've got here. <clears throat> if you go for the paperback edition, you can probably pick it up for a few quid online. And again, I, I thoroughly recommend it. It's not a hard read. But again, there are many, many lessons in here can change your life you know how to create the things you desire is just you know uh, some of the things in here but again it's absolutely amazing and i recommend you get yourself the master key system that's the last thing i wanted to show you the master key system can change your life and it's absolutely amazing leaders are readers do not forget that leaders are readers and you should be reading something every single day i today i do more audio than 
I've been actually reading books, but I still, I still do read every single day. So my recommendation to every single person on this call is go out there, get these books and start reading. And what you'll find is when you're persistent and consistent and doing this every single day, even if you're reading just five minutes a day, you, you get into a habit and it can change your life. That's all I wanted to initially say. I'm going to part, see if Mandeep's on the call because I want Mandeep to say a few words as well. M Mandeep, are you on the call? Yes. I think Dr. Mandeep's going to sleep. No, she's not asleep. <laughs> One second. Mandeep, can I hear you? Yes, you can hear me. How's okay. it going? I'm very well. How are you? Yes, I'm good. So happy Eid, first of all, to you, Dr. Jav. <laughs> Thank you, Mandy, for that. <laughs> and happy Eid to every single person on this call as well. Even if you don't celebrate it, it's a great occasion when you can eat lots of food. Mm, 100%, 100%. So I bet yesterday was a, a feastful for you. No, no. Um, <laughs> it was okay. It was good. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Well, Dr. Jav was, you know, that, that, was, that was him um, starting off our team call for this week. Can we give it back to him? Let's show him some appreciation, uh, appreciation, triple ones and fire emojis in the chat box. He is truly a superstar. Um, and, you know, the, the, the great thing is, is that, uh, you know, he, he's really leading by example. Jav, honestly, I didn't even expect that many books. I was actually writing down some of the ones that you mentioned. I thought, wow, this is great. Um, and like you said, you know, readers are leaders. It does not matter if you are on this call as just a trader or whether you want to take your business to the next level. Your personal development is so important. And, you know, I'm going to be on for sort of the, the next 10 minutes or so, um, just kind of talking about goals and the 90 day game plan. Because what, what Jav has basically painted a picture is, you know, how important goal setting is and, and reading books you know, really, really getting into the the, 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 the the meat and the source of things. And I remember when I first started this business, I mean, I, I absolutely love trading. I think it's it's such an amazing industry, $6.6 .6 trillion a day. Um, and that there's so much that can be made um, from this industry, but also from the business building as well. So the two industries are just phenomenal you know put together they really really are great but before i go into that just a bit of background to myself so my name is mandy i'm from leicester come from a corporate background just like dr jav and for me it was i was doing 10 hours a day for 10 years of my life and i just thought Do you know what I, I don't want this lifestyle you know what is the point when it's summer of sitting in the sun for two out of seven days do you follow me <laughs> do you actually understand that i don't want to be sitting in the sun for two days a week until i'm 60 because I'm having to work for someone else. And the major goal, my major driving force, and, and I think a lot of you are familiar with this, is my parents. I thought, well, how do I give them the best retirement um, if I'm working for someone else? Again, I need, to, I need a system where I can multiply money from home. So this is where I founded um, Forex. I, I think it's a brilliant industry. And trust me, again, to the traders on the call, even actually the new, the new customers are very warm welcome if you have joined in the last seven days. When I first started this company, this industry, this platform, I never ever thought in a million years that I could actually even teach the stuff or even understand it. Because all I could see was loads of numbers and letters and this and watch this and watch that. I mean, the brilliant thing about our platform is that everything is clearly laid out. We just have to get stuck into it. But I thought, you know what, maybe I'll learn. I'm not quite sure, but you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it my all. I'm gonna give this a go for six months minimum. And I know we say 90 day game plan. For me, it was six months because you know I was working part time and the most I could devote to it was about 30 minutes to, to, uh, to an hour per day. So I thought when I come from work and I've eaten and I've rested a bit, I'm gonna sit and I'm just gonna devote my time to this. So the number one thing is just deciding you're gonna do it. Point number one is um, you know make a decision make a decision, just commit to learning. For the next 90 days, it doesn't matter what happens, make a decision to commit. Make a decision to commit. Um, point number two, write it down as well. Write down your goal. And the power of goal setting is so important. The power of written down goals is really, really important. And again, when I was in the corporate world, I didn't understand any of this. So I'm being very real with you here. I just thought it was a lot of airy fairy stuff. Oh, goal setting and these self-help books. And I don't need any of that because I know what I'm doing. I was the one who was not coachable and teachable to be fair. And I'm going to hold my hands up and be honest about that because um, I thought, you know, I need to focus on how do I get there and, and, and how do I read the chart and how do I speak to the prospect? But what I wasn't doing was this. 
I know I always bring this up on a lot of my calls, but this basically has changed my life completely. If you are someone on this call who is currently frustrated with your financial circumstances, or even your trading, or even your prospecting, or building your team, you want to get in a state of gratitude because trust me, the blessings will follow. And I know this, and Jav, Dr. Jav knows this, and a couple of other people who are coming on to give testimonials know this because they understand energy, they understand commitment, they understand goals and thinking and gratitude. Because if I show you this, maybe it might shock you, maybe it might not. Every single page here is completely full with I am so happy and grateful now. I am so happy and grateful now. Every day, you know, um, this, I think it's my um, sort of second book this year, um, but it's co consistently full with a lot of things, uh, with a page of what I'm grateful for. Even if it hasn't come to materialize, I can see it in my book. I can see it right there, right? This is where I'm going. This is where I'm going. My trading ladies and gentlemen, has taken a completely new level ever since I started the Gratitude Journal. Take it from me, take it from me, just so that to save you some time, when you are in a state of gratitude and you, sometimes it can take time to understand it, but if you continuously give gratitude and keep writing out, I'm a master trader, I'm so happy and grateful, I'm catching pips, I'm so happy and grateful, I'm building a great business. I'm so happy and grateful. I'm understanding what I need to do. This is where things can massively work for you. Because trust me, uh, when I was trading, my trading from the beginning of my journey to where it is now is completely different in many ways. It's completely different, but you know, very, very, um, very, very happy and grateful. I think, oh, there we go. Um, but, 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 but super excited right? Super excited. And um, one of the, the, the strategies that I teach is the ECC 11 on vibrata. If you are um, not sure about what strategy to choose or pick, or you want to try something different, I would highly recommend either doing the harmonic scanner or the vibrata to begin with. And obviously some of you might be on different packages like the elite or digital currencies package, which are also phenomenal products. And there's a complete timetable of everything that's available. But we have so much we have so much in this platform that can help you towards financial freedom. We might, someone might be on this call thinking, look, I just want to pay off my mortgage. I just need some extra disposable income each month. I want to send my child to a better nursery. I want to be able to pay for their nursery fee, uh, sorry, their, their university fees. I, I just, I don't want to work anymore. I want to go part time. I want to be able to enjoy. I want every day to be like a bank holiday. If you are on this call and you want to live every day, like a bank holiday, put some fire emojis in the chat box. And if you love your job, no problem. You can still put some fire emojis in the chat box. But if you right here, right now, you want to live every day like a bank holiday, not twice a year or three times a year when bank holiday comes, we don't need to wait to what the government announces. You have the power to be able to dictate your own bank holiday. I remember one thing that Takira Bass said to, to, to us when we first started, myself and Dr. Jav, and that was this. In the last 10 years that you've been working, Mandy, how much of the money have you multiplied? How much of the money that's flown through your bank account have you multiplied? And for me, it was this much, zero. Because I didn't understand investments or multiplication or investments or compounding or the power of multiplying money. I didn't get that, so I didn't do it. And then he asked me the second question. How do you fancy living every day like a bank holiday or like a Sunday? How do you fancy living every day like a Saturday or a Sunday? And my jaw just dropped to the floor. And he says, look, that's what I'm doing right now as of this moment. And I'm helping other people to do the same. Would you like to be one of those people? And I said, yeah, I stood up in my chair and I was like, yes, I want to do that. I want to really, really um, embrace that because I remember for a long time in my job, especially the last sort of year or so, I was frustrated because I just thought, I don't, I don't want this lifestyle when I'm having to wake up at silly o'clock and go to work and answer to someone else. I, I don't want that. And I want the best life possible for my parents and my future children. You know, I, I want the best life for, 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 my, for my family. And so that's, that's basically the aim and, and what I'm doing now. So this is why, like I said at the beginning, writing down your goal is so important because that's what's going to drive you. 
It doesn't matter if you're a trader on this call. It doesn't matter whether you're a builder on the call. Everybody needs a goal. We are all working towards a vision or something that inspires us. Remember, your vision is either going to pull you or push you away. If it's pushing you away, there's no vision. If it's pulling you, there's a vision there. Think of all the platinum ranks that are popping at the moment um, in the company. Think of how massive the trading industry has become. So in the last sort of few months even, it's gone from being a 5.3 trillion to a 6.6 .6 trillion dollar a day industry. These industries are evolving every single day. And we are so blessed that we have an opportunity to be part of them. So we should all make the most of it. If you are just a trader, set a goal. If you are a builder, set a goal. If you're doing both, set a goal of what you want to achieve in the next 90 days. So that's the first thing. Decide your goal, write it down. And then point number three to finish off with is live in your goal. Write it out everywhere. Write it out. Um, and, and basically, you, you want to live in that goal every day. What does that really mean? Does your environment right now reflect where you want to be? Does your environment, whatever you're looking at, whatever you're seeing, whatever you're speaking, how do you use your five senses? Because let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen, most people use their five senses speaking negative things. And let me tell you how the conversation will go. Have you heard about what's going on out there? Oh, the pandemic's not good, is it? Oh, there's more cases. Oh, there's lockdown. It's still going on. Cover your ears. Cover your ears. You don't need to hear that. And, and, and we appreciate what's going on out there. And it's sad. It, it's not a great thing that's happening. But just remember, we want to focus on our goals. And we want to come out of this pandemic better off than when we entered it. You want your bank balance to be better off after, after this whole thing is over than when you first entered into it. Remember, every single person paid $225 minimum to come on board with this platform and do something for themselves, if not their family, if not their parents or their partners or their children. So we've all come into this with a goal. So get out there and do it. Live in your goal. Write out your goal. What is it that you want to achieve? And, and I've shown this many times. Where's it gone? My bookmark on my um, diary which looks like this, because this is actually happening this year. This is my target for this year. $120,000 a year. Annual income. That's my target this year, which is going to be um, completed by the end of the year. <laughs> it's there. I can see it. But how can I see it? It is there. I see it. Do you see it? Do you see this paper right here? It's a laminated note with my goal on it. And I remember if I showed this to someone in the corporate world, they would have laughed at me saying, Mandy, get a grip. That ain't happening. Just put your head down and work. But this industry allows us to dream, ladies and gentlemen. It allows us to see a vision. It allows you to fulfill those dreams. Trust me, in corporate, I was never going to get this. Unless someone above me, they passed away or they left the company. And the reason why I'm being really real with you is because this is what all the major earners in this industry talk about, the six, seven, eight figure earners. And I'll tell you one thing, I am not resting until I hit the six, seven figure mark. But we've got to start off somewhere, whether it comes from the trading or the building or combined, it does not matter. It's about living in the goal now. So every time I open up my diary and I'm having a look at right, what Zoom calls do I have today, I see this right there and i have it written down in my office all over i can see it in front of me right now it's in my diary it's on my bedside table do you know what i did i went to john lewis and i said to the lady can i have five five dollar notes and she looked at me like five dollar notes and i said oh it's just a it's just a little project i'm doing that that was it because uh, i thought she's not going to understand this she's probably going to laugh but I, I don't need to explain anyway i just said just can i have five dollars please so i put one in my in my wallet in my in my purse I put one on my bedside table, one in my diary, one on my, um, on, my, on my bathroom mirror, and one is in my car. One is literally in my car. So every time I drive, it's just there. So that's how I use those five notes. So when the leaders say, when, 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 when the six and seven figure owners say, live in your goal, that's what it means. Who on this call, and be honest, who on this call has heard or read the secret? If you have, put a yes, put a me. And if you haven't, you can put I haven't, no problem. That's absolutely fine. But trust me, 
that was one of the best but if, you, if you've not read so elvin you that's your homework for tonight get netflix and 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 and, and watch that film dad watched it this morning perfect it is such a good film it is such a good film and trust me for the traders on the call again you might be thinking, hmm, not quite sure what Mandeep's talking about, the secret law of attraction. Trust me, your trading will take a whole new level. It's all about what you think about comes about. Let me just finish off with this. The person that wrote this book was a multi-millionaire, if not a billionaire, maybe Jav can correct me. But the point being, this book wasn't entitled Work Hard and Grow Rich. Learn the skills and grow rich. What was it titled? Think and Grow Rich. That's what it was titled. And I read this book countless times. You can see all the, the bookmark that the pages that I particularly like, I've bookmarked them because Napoleon Hill was, was someone who was very clever, right? He was a multimillionaire. He got it. He got the concept that, look, you don't need to work hard and get out there and grow rich. No one in a job, and correct me if I'm wrong, there's 20 of you on the call. I don't know a single person who got rich, wealthy in terms of the health their wealth, their spirit, and their money by working hard. And actually, I was one of the, the people who used to think that. I thought, okay, in order to get wealthy, I've got to wait till I'm 40 or 50, and I've got to be in a really high-paid job. No, 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 no. <laughs> enter network marketing, enter Forex, because then that completely twisted everything around. It's all about how we think. That will elevate your income. When you elevate your thinking, you will elevate your income. When you elevate your thinking, you will elevate your income. So that's what I want to leave you with. Write down your goal, feel it, get out there and make 2020 yours. Jav, back over to you. Thank you so much. Mandy, that was absolutely amazing. Uh, thank you for that. And uh, yeah, I, I love the um, $1 note that you've got there. I've got something similar. So if you can see that. So yeah, oh, I love it, love it, woo! <laughs> yeah, Mandy, I'm not going to be outdone by you. Um, I have quite a few of these. I couldn't find dollar notes, so I actually got a hundred thousand dollar notes. And a lot of people that don't know how this work, <laughs> how this works, will laugh at us and say, you know, what are you doing? It's a load of rubbish. But I can tell you, and with with a 100% certainty that this works. And both Mandeep and I have been to many, many multi, well, multi-millionaire houses and they do exactly the same thing. Whatever you say, whatever you think becomes reality. Whatever you see every day and whatever you um, focus on becomes your reality. And if you're doing these things and plastering them all over your house, visitors will laugh at you. Your visitors are not financially free. The people that understand this are the ones that are financially free. So I hugely recommend that you do this. Um, plaster your goals everywhere, stick it in your car, stick it in, you know, use it as a bookmark like Mandeep does. And uh, yeah, I mean, it, it works and that's why you should do it. Now, on this call, we have some very, very special guests as well. And I want to bring them on as well so we can you know, listen to their experiences and see how they've been getting on. And the people that I'm gonna bring on today are, are people that we feel are, are going to be the next chairman and they have you know in, in my opinion what it takes so i'm just going to unmute the first person uh who's shannon shannon are you on this call hello <laughs> i'm just trying to unmute shannon i'm not sure what's happening one second mandy if you can unmute try and unmute shannon Jav, i'll give her a quick call yeah she's definitely i think she's probably um yeah, I'm here. Shannon, are you here? I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, yeah. Okay, Shannon, it's good to have you on the call. How are you? I'm all right, one second. <laughs> Sorry. Shannon, do you I'll have put my video on. Oh, Shannon, Hello? you're in San Francisco. Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> Go One on. second. Can you yeah. hear me? Yeah, we, we can hear you. We can't hear you anymore. Um, Hello? Hello? Can, yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you, Shannon. So, okay. yeah, Shannon, the reason I want to bring you on this call is because obviously uh, we feel that you have the motivation, the, 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 the why to actually become chairman or chairwoman. And... Uh, 
Yeah. Out of every single interaction I've had with you, I've been positively impressed. And your go-getter from the first time I met you in London, and you, you do things. Yeah. We don't have to tell you what to do. You just go ahead and do them. So the reason you're on this call is um, just to share your story a little bit, where you've come from, what you're doing, and where you see yourself going by the end of this year. So Shannon, it's over to you. Hello everyone, my name is Shannon Murdoch. Some of you may know me through It Vibes always, videos and stuff and inspirations, always interacting with everyone. And I first started, I've always known about trading and there's always something that I wanted to do, but didn't have anyone who I could sort of trust. I put a trust, my trust into somebody uh, two years ago uh, that failed miserably, where I lost um, a chunk of money. Um, but I didn't give up because I come from um, a property background. So property for me was something that I wanted to get into a uh, very early age, I'd say at the early age of 20. And then six years down the line, you know, ready to buy my first property and stuff. And then talking to a mortgage advisor and them telling me that, you know, um, you're not on um, enough a year to buy a property. And that, that was down to, you know, the mortgage repayments, um, the actual bills, the affordability in terms of living. I wasn't able, although I had the money there, deposit, everything was set up. They basically told me uh, no mortgage lender would look at me because of how much I earned a year. So that happened in March 2019. And I thought I'd change the narrative and give this trading thing a goal. So in the beginning of the year, I made sure I set myself a goal to go out there and put myself out there. I think I I did a few Eventbrite's um, where I was going to go for like Forex for beginners um and then i met usman who brought me on to uh, this platform and i basically said to usman at the beginning like i just i just want to trade like i don't want to build or anything like that i want to see if it really works because i was very despondent um with forex my trust wasn't 100 percent with forex um i lost trust with it so i said um I definitely just want to focus on the trading side of things first before I go into like building or anything like that or bringing anybody on. And then I'd say about a couple of months down the line, a few months actually down the line, everything changed. Everything changed. I tapped in, I think it was the first video. I would, I, I would, I would admit in the beginning when I just wanted to trade, I didn't like plug into any other videos. And then I, plugged in one Friday and I plugged into David Emanitier. He's actually chairman 500 at the moment. I plugged into him and he, he just touched me in a different way. Like one of the things that he also said was, um, have your goal. And what he basically said goal means is go out and live. Yeah. So go out and live. When, when he said that, I was just like, wow. Like, this guy's just so smart. And ever since that day, that Friday, when I plugged into the Friday fire up call, I didn't stop. I said, I said, I think I messaged Mandy, actually. I was like, Mandy, I want to build. That was it. I'm, I want to build. I want to build. I want to be like that guy, David Eminitier. And then when I started to listen to David Eminitier's audio books as well and how far he came and and, you know, he worked so hard for 16 years in network marketing, nothing really worked for him. But then he found this platform. And then what happened? 27 years old, made his first million. Come on, man. 27 years old, made his first million after trying six years, 16 years, trying, failed, 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 failed in network marketing, come across this platform, made his first million. He's now 36 years old. That's how much I'm tapped into David, yeah? I'm going to meet that guy one day. Everything he says to do, I'm doing. Because I'm not listening to, I'm not listening to anybody else. I'm listening to people who have what I want. That's all I'm going to do. Yeah? And if anyone's talking negative, if anyone's talking in a negative light, or, you know, oh, you're not going to do this, and you're not going to be that, and why are you doing this? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye <laughs> I don't need to listen to you because I know where I'm going I've listened to plenty 
variety of people's stories on here on this fire um on the friday fire up calls yeah everybody on these calls they're all saying the same thing change your mindset yeah be around people with the same mindset as you yeah <laughs> be around people with the same mindset as you because those people are going they see the vision yeah so when i tap when i started to build you know Daniel, Daniel's in the call now. Daniel, one of my good friends growing up with. My sister, my sister's in this. My brother's in this call right now. Yeah. I've got another good friend as well. She's not on the call at the moment. But we're all like-minded thinkers. We knew that this nine to five life wasn't going to cut. It wasn't going to get us that house. It wasn't going to, you know, give us time to have with our families. And I'll, I'll go back to something that Mandeep just said as well, right? About somebody telling, telling she didn't want anyone to um, tell her what to do anymore. Me, I don't like people telling me what to do. I don't like it. Why should I, why should I let somebody else dictate my future? Why do I have to wake up in the morning and go work for the other man? When people are out there living their lives right now, you know, chilling going in the markets for like two, three hours a day and then having the rest of the day. Or sometimes they might go in the market, um, into the market for one day, make their percentage, and then that's it. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, they could do whatever they want. They could build if they wanted to. They could do self-development. I do self-development every day, every morning. The Secrets to Success by Elle Nightingale in my air every morning, yeah? The Secret to Success by Elle Nightingale in my ear every morning. When I go for a run, yeah? That's what was playing in my head. Or 25... Um, Helen, your audio is not very clear. Uh, wealth Creation, but, yeah? Yeah, sure, can you hear me? I was talking. Yeah, I can hear you. You keep cutting out, but again, I mean, you, your story is absolutely amazing. Um, no, okay. we really thank you for that, and we, we certainly yeah. believe that you, you, you're going to make it. Um, you've got yeah. the exact mentality that we're looking for in leaders. You are a born leader, and every yes. every single thing that I've said, you've gone and done, and you've done more than that. Yeah. So if I say to you, you know, yeah. go and read this book. I mean, I've got <laughs> 20 books here that I showed you today. That you're going to go out and read 40 yeah. books, and that's why I believe you're yeah. going to make it. And again, Sharon, thank you for that. Um, it's been absolutely amazing having no you. And we look forward to promoting you next week. So you are going to be promoted next week, Shannon. Let's get you there. And I'll bring the next person on the call as well. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Thank you for that, Shannon. That was absolutely amazing. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, so the next person um, I want to bring on is, is Maria. So again, Maria, I'm going to try and unmute you. And I don't know if Mandy can unmute her. Hey, I think I'm unmuted. Am I unmuted? Okay, yeah, yes, you are. Brilliant. Okay, perfect. Let me just start my video. Right, can you all see me? Yes. How are you doing, Maria? I'm good. How are you? How's everyone? Really, really well. And it's great to see you, Maria, in it's great Amazon, to see you. Redford, Manchester, Lancaster. <laughs> <laughs> but I just want to say hi to everyone. Hi to all the new family as well that's just joining. If this is like your first kind of team call, they might welcome. So, yeah, let's just give, give a quick introduction on who Maria is. Maria is a medical student um, up north, and she joined a while back. Um, is that, I'm going to mute it for the last time. So, one second. Yeah, that's fine. So, Maria joined um, a while back, and again, you've taken on board everything you've said, and I believe you're, you're a true leader, and that's why you're, you're doing this, you know, little, little, having this little conversation with us. Tell us your story, Maria. What are you doing here? So I'm, like you said, I'm a medical student currently in my third year and it's all about that time freedom again and that financial freedom that just life and, and believe it or not, even people in higher professions like, you know, lawyers, doctors and things that you think, wow, what a profession. They still are struggling for time. They're still struggling financially. And it was only when I started working with them as a medical student where I actually saw, okay, this, this just isn't it. And I still want to be a doctor and I still want to do all those things, but there's other goals I had. And so I was like, well, no one's going to go out there and get it for me. So that's when I have, to, I have to take matters into my own hands and actually find a way to do things for myself. And that's when I started looking up loads of things and seeing, you know, what works and what doesn't. And that's when I actually got into contact with Dr. Jav. 
and he was doing a webinar and we talked through it all and I was like well let's give this a go and to be honest I haven't looked back since it's just been a case of going at it every single day and at the start similar to Shannon I was like I, I, I just want to trade I just want to see how trading goes and then I was like no actually just like a lot of people say when you're given two opportunities and opportunities don't you know like rarely knock twice why not take them so I was like let's just set my time straight and take both and honestly I have like only when you start to see things happen do you do you understand like I could sit here and tell you all day that you know you should be trading you should be building and you should be putting a lot of time into both but only once you start doing it and like Mandeep said and like Dr. Jaffa said and like Shannon said only once you start doing it do you see the rewards and do you actually become more passionate about it because when you see David Amenite and all these bigger chairmen the only reason why they wake up every single day and they're so passionate about it is because not only has it worked for them it's worked for other people around them and they help they're helping it work for everyone else and so it was only when I started to you know cut the crap cut the, the excuses and cut even though I was and initially as a trader and as a builder I wasn't 100% on it you know and it is hard to admit and take responsibility when you know you're not putting in the time you say you're doing things and then but then when you really deep deep down think about it you're like well I'm not doing it consistently I'm not doing it as well as I could and it was only when I started to cut that bullshit and think right let me believe and let me think about what I want to be in the future. What do I see for myself? And what kind of power woman do I want to become? And what kind of people do I want to attract into my business and attract in my circle? And only when I started to bring her into fruition and actually have her guide me instead of my current me, that's when I started to see like snapshot, very fast paced changes, not only in my trading, but also in my building and with the people I was talking to around me. And so that is one thing that I just want to say, like whatever you're doing, whatever situation you're in right now, just keep going, but cut the bullshit, you know? And only you know what, whether or not you're pulling bullshit in front of other people or in front of yourself as well. Sometimes you're lying to yourself. So all I'd say is just do that. But that's my journey and I'm really happy. Thank you for that, Maria. That's absolutely amazing. I love it. Cut the bullshit and just get to work. So again, um, I'm looking forward to celebrating your next rank this week. Again, uh, with Shannon, it's not next week because this week has actually started. So it's Monday today. So Maria, Shannon, you are going to hit your next rank this week. And again, um, in the last, I think, couple of weeks, Maria, you've absolutely smashed it. And both on the business side and, and trading. And this business is about trading and also building the business. And if you do both of those things, you will hit financial freedom much quicker. And again, I applaud you, Maria, because medical school is not easy. And, you know, I've got a lot of family members that have been to medical school doing it at the moment it's not easy and you're doing both things so again well done and you will be chairwoman this year as well of course that's the goal the goal brilliant thanks maria I'm thank gonna, you our next person um is mohammed i'm gonna bring mohammed on the call mohammed can you hear me yeah hi dr Dow. i can hear you brilliant yeah. do you have a video at yeah, all? just a second yeah uh, can you see me now Yes, Mohammed, how are you doing? Perfect. I'm good. How are you? Yeah, very well, thanks. And again, welcome to the call. Thanks a lot. And a little bit about Mohammed. Uh, I met Mohammed in London, I think it was, earlier in the year. And Mohammed is probably one of the most teachable persons that I know. And your teachability index in this business, in fact, in any business, is so important. If you listen to your mentors, you will get, you know, you'll, you'll achieve success much quicker. If, I mean, if I say to Mohammed, do A, B, and C, he'll do A, B, C, D, E, F, and so on and so on. A little bit like um, Shannon and Maru as well. And you, your progress has been absolutely amazing. Again, you will hit chairman this year. And yeah. next month, it's almost June, you, you will hit the next rank. So Mohammed, tell us your story. Where have you come from? What do you do? And how are you finding it? Oh, well, uh, my name is Mohammed. And for those of you that don't know me, so... I am again, just like Maria, I'm also a university student in my third year now, and uh, I am not studying medical, but I'm studying business, and uh, that's what, because since child, childhood, I've always had that business mindset, I wanted to do something in business, I was, uh, when I started my um, higher school years, I used to be interested in science, but then w once I got to know the potential and the benefits of doing a business, I was more interested in the business, and then I switched myself to, to a business uh, subjects and all those sorts of things. 
and that's when when I started university, I got to know more about business. When I started expanding my knowledge about business, I was more interested in it to know more. And I started searching for ways where I can earn money. And that's when I started uh, searching for part time jo jobs, as every single university student would do. And I got my first part time job. I was quite happy, started working. Um, but then I soon realized that it won't take me very long uh, to kind of, you know, go far ahead in my future. So I was like, it's not helping me a lot. It's just basically covering my expenses, the basic expenses like food and all those sorts of things. So that's when I started searching for different opportunities. And that's when, you know, I started searching for events and all uh, going on to social media, searching for different ways and all those sorts of things. And that's how I came across Dr. Jav. And um, I met him online and uh, he just said, you know, we'll be having a massive event in London. Why don't you come down to London and meet the whole team and just see everything from yourself? And I was like, okay, I'll just give it a try. I wasn't having any expectations, to be honest, because before that, all the events that I had been to, I was just thinking that it's going to be very expensive, maybe in thousands of pounds and all those sorts of things. But when I went down there, I saw all these great people, people from different ages, from different backgrounds, different cultures and all those sorts of things. And I just started asking myself, if these people have been able to do it, why can't I do it? What is that? What is the unique thing that they have been practicing or that they have been doing? And that's when I got to know, you know, it's all to do with the mindset and all to do with your hunger, your desire and all those sorts of things. And that's when, you know, I just said, okay, I'll just give it a try. And that's where I started. I met Dr. Jav in person for, for the first time. Also met Mandeep and all these other great people. That's when I saw Ivan Tapia and all these other great people as well. And I was so surprised. I was so kind of happy. And I felt that was like the best day of my life because that's when I met like-minded individuals. And as many of the speakers had, uh, had spoken on the call earlier that, for those, people, uh, for those people, if we want to get somewhere, we won't be listening to those people that don't have the results because they don't know what it takes to get to that level. Whereas if we want to be a millionaire, we won't be listening to any random person walking on the street. We will be listening to people like uh, Dr. Jha, Dr. people like David and Mani, people like Mandy, because they know how to get there. They have been doing this for a longer time. And that's why I said, okay, I'll just give it a try and I'm just going to follow blindly whatever they tell me. And since, to the, since then, I've just been following whatever they tell me, even if it means that I have to embarrass myself, I'm happy to do that because I know in the short term, I might have to embarrass myself, or I might have to bear the pain, but in the long term, I definitely know I'll be able to achieve that goal, whatever goal I want. Because when Dr. Javan Mandi told me to start creating these goals and all these sorts of things, I started thinking to myself, well, how can it help me? If I just write down something on a piece of paper, how is it going to help me? And Dr. Javan Mandeep simply told me, just do it. Whatever we are telling you, just do it. And you will just start seeing the results. And since then, I've just started doing. So now, every single morning when I wake up, I use my five senses. I, use, I just keep writing the goals, keep looking at my posters, my goals everywhere in my room, especially on my bed and all those uh, areas. And that's when I started feeling that it is working. That's when I said, you know, I'm just going to start following whatever they are going to tell me. And I just literally follow them, follow them, uh, whatever they tell me, even if it means I need to kind of make myself embarrassed, or even if it means I need to get out of my comfort zone, because every single individual that has been successful in life, whether it's Bill Gates, whether it's Mark Zuckerberg, whoever it is, they have all been in that situation. They have all felt that, uh, that embarrassment. They have all been in that situation. So if so many people have been over there, when we know how we can get over there, even if we are listening over there, even if we are listening to these people and we are not acting, there's no point of that then. It's, it, it, just, it just simply means our, our willingness to learn is quite high, but our willingness uh, to change is nothing. So that simply means, let's say if our willingness to learn is 10 uh, and our willingness to change is zero, so that simply means 10 times zero is zero. So that simply means there's no point of listening. Just listening is nothing. We have to listen. We have to immediately act so that the momentum doesn't kind of drain down and that's why you know just do whatever you can just do whatever your mentors are telling you because trust me every single person every all these mentors all the all these great leaders they want us to kind of see the results they also want us to be on their position to come to that chairman rank chairwoman rank whatever we want to achieve that's why all these leaders are called as leaders they are called as mentors thank you for that, that, thank, you for that. thank you that was absolutely amazing and again um you, you talked about this as well the teachability index and the willingness to learn. And that applies to every single person here. Your teachability, teachability index has to be very, very high, which means that you listen to your mentors and you do what your mentors tell you. And again, we're not reinventing the wheel here. 
Every single person on this call is a success. Mohammed, you will hit chairman this year. Write it down. Okay, um, I can guarantee you we have the, the path set out for you. All you need to do is just do it. Do whatever we tell you. And every single person on this call has been you know, the speakers and also the attendees have been absolutely amazing. And I just want to quickly wrap it up by talking about and uh, just going through a few success quotes. Now, success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It's the courage to continue that counts. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It's the courage to continue that counts. And that's very, very important. Winston Churchill said that. I find that the harder I work, the more luck I seem to have. And again, Thomas Jefferson, which basically, basically indicates that success will not be easy. Success is not free. You will need to put some effort in to succeed. Just bear that in mind. Success is not free. I find that the harder I work, the more luck I seem to have. So bear that in mind. Put the effort in, put the work in, and you will absolutely smash this business. Successful people do what unsuccessful people are not willing to do. Jim Rohn, one of my favorite personal development gurus, successful people do what unsuccessful people are not willing to do. Which again indicates to some extent that success will not come free to you. You have to put some effort in. You have to take action. Don't just read the books and do nothing. Do something about it as well. Do one thing every single day that scares you. Do one thing every day that scares you. If you don't like to do presentations, do a presentation. If you cannot speak in public at an event, go out and do it. Do something outside your comfort zone every single day and you'll find that you will grow as a person. All progress takes place outside the comfort zone. Michael John Bobek said that. So again, very, very important to do things outside your comfort zone. Don't let the fear of losing be greater than the excitement of winning. Robert Kiyosaki. And I want to end with one of my favorite quotes. Success is the progressive realization of a worthy cause. If you haven't listened to The Stranger's Secret, you need to do that. I listen to it almost every single day. It's an amazing audio. It's in our group. Go out there, listen to it, get yourself a copy. It's an amazing audio that will change your life. Here are the books that I talked about earlier. Please go out there, get yourself some of these books and increase your personal development, become more in, in, in tune with who you are as a person and you will make it. We're here to help you. Again, thank you every single person to be on this call. And I forgot to mention, whatever you think you, whether you think you can or you can't, either way you are right. So again, thinking is so, so important. Sort your thinking out and you'll sort your life out. My name is Dr. Jeff. Thank you for being on this call. It's been amazing speaking to you. Let's get you to the highest ranks possible. Let's help you become financially free and achieve every single goal that you have. Again, thank you for your time. My name is Dr. Jeff and let's speak soon. Thank you.